time to get warm. He unable to have the free time to get the water? Is that what I heard? Uh, no, uh, free time to get warmer. Hi. Baneto uh, wa ato ato you ato you mani de kakeru jundi o oe ore o surete. Um, this, uh, yes. Or, ore o surete ikai ni ori atsude o koto o haoru to doka o toshita taifu himo o hoketo ni sukonde Shupachista Baneto wa Banet Ato you Mani De Kakeru Junbio Oe Banet finished the preparation for leaving in a blink of an eye. Ore o surete ikai ni ori. He takes me down to the first floor. Atsure no koto o ha oru to. He put on a thick coat and doka o Toshita saifu himo o poketto ni sukonde. He shoved into his pocket the string, the string wallet that had threaded through coins. Shupachista. And he depart, Perfect. departed. Neburi ga inai no ni. Maho no mon o. Do yatte tori nukeru no ka to omotte. I thought to omote itaga. I I had a thought that how tori no keru no ka do yatte. Tori nukeru no ka. How am how how to go through how to go through that I thought. Since how to go through what? How to go through my whole no mon. How to go through the magic gate since uh no need. Because nobody is not present in I. Hi. Um, Noni is very interesting because um, it tends to kind of show some kind of um, contrast between two things, but it's not an aggressive contrast. So even though tends to be the better way to translate this. So even though nobody's not here, how on earth are we going to be going through the gate? Though, because it does work in this specific translation because of the thinking. I was thinking, how are we going to get through this gate? Because nobody's not here. Which, interesting enough, in English does have that show that um contrast in with the first part. So it is kind of interesting because it doesn't have to be contrastive. You will see Noni sometimes not used in that way. 
Um, but uh, even though tends to be the better way of thinking about noni, um, theoretically, if you think about it, I don't know if this is fully true, but the, theoretically, this would be that no we were talking about last time with ni being the adverb, meaning like, with nobody not being here, how are we? How are we supposed to get through the gate? Pressing it with uh, a, on, on, with on, this basis. On this particular point, Bonnie, I completely agree. I I've been having a lot of thought about this no need for a long time, since Japanese completely not English. So I I don't think there's an analogous. Because I, I don't think it's, an, it's a contrast, but it's not quite a because either. So, so. I mean, looking at it, 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 it as so. you say, it's simply no followed by ni. So no is this normalizer. It is it's basically everything that was before it is now referenced by no. So no is nobody ga inai. So now that's the idea that is now referred to as no. And then he say ni. And neat acts in the same way that it always does, meaning like at that. Yeah. At that reason. That is the reason. I guess the reason why sometimes it had a con contrastive feeling to it is because uh in anime sometimes they they trail off, like they say no need and then they go dot dot dot. Not just in anime, but yeah. So it gives, that, it gives that, the that is that whiny no need. You've seen it in this book as well. The whining on Hi. It's um, almost as if they say this is the, the reason and then I have I can't make a conclusion about what's following afterward. I, I feel ambivalent, ambivalent about the thing that I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. It's like a toll with a dot 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 in my mind somehow. It's like well, it's a little it's this, extremely aggressive. This. Oh, I guess he meant quotation toll. Uh, I can kind of see that. Yeah, I think you with it like, like is a good way to translate this the specific middle. meme. Kind of like at this location, in a way. The location being the state of Hi. nobody not being here. But I think with works good as a translation. Hi. But normally, by default, we do even though um, as the official translation okay. of Noni. So you could do with for the grammatical translation, I think. So with nobody not being here, right. how on earth are we supposed to get go through the gate? You see how it's not a because, because it's not a because. If you say because, it's wrong. Because um, then you would have said no death. Sense. Because nobody is not here, how are we going to go there? Um, sense, I guess, in a right. way, is like in between because I guess it's close. it is pretty close. Right. Um, but yeah. but, but Mani, this, this is a really interesting thing uh, with this clause is that if you look at the God, Look at the God right at the end of this clause. Right. See, there's a difference between this God and this no need. No need yes. is not as strong as a God. God definitely not. not. God's but, extremely like, strong. Complete. There's a complete contrast contrast here. Yeah, but as you can say the no same need, thing with like no dead, soft. right? Like we see no dead is this is soft versus like kara, which is aggressive, right? So right. if you're arguing with that, there's what because is like... no de is also with, right? With as a tool rather than a location. Hi. Right. With this kara, it's 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 more like coming from coming from this, now right. we're talking about this. It's a direct correlation between the two. Like there's right. there's a causal origin to it. Like I'm coming from I'm coming from that place whereas no day is like with that using that thing we are going to do something yes that it's like right. instrumental versus like hi and so here we have a contrast in thought he say ga however nukeri nukari wa nakata hi and here, last time I messed it up because I saw the kanji with hands, but it doesn't mean hands in that way. It means left. He left the place. He leaving That's a the good place. guess. So you're still getting confused by the definition you Google the kanji for. So nuku can mean to leave out. 
kind of like nokori to leave out but it's not well, i guess you can also use it for the to leave you're right um but in which case we're talking about a verb we don't have a verb here verbs do not end with wa that would be weird we have nakata from the verb aru or you could argue nai if aru and nai are different things um in past tense form right e turns into kata so we have a noun here, the noun nukari. So if you're translating this from the point of view of a verb, you're already going at it wrong because you got the wrong word in your head. Because it's not a noun, it is a verb. Hi. Here, it's a noun. Yes. And it's saying that the omission, the thing that was omitted, Hi. that wa marking that as a topic nai non-existence yeah so, so as a nothing was left it out. was not oh, nothing was left out yeah so what Everything does nothing was left out mean? to plan yes exactly there was no blunder nothing was left out everything was it's according had, to plan. it has the exact ideas of providence everything is as according to providence Everything is in its place. It seems like it's out of place, but it's not. It's all meant to be. Like that. That's what he literally saying. Right. It looks like something was missing, but in fact, it was part of the plan. Or so, so. nothing was missing anyway. It's a yep. misperception. Nobody had already planned for this. Hi. Um... Mon no tokoro de baneto ga. Here's another strong contrast. Is it? I mean, I guess it ga. is. It, it's, it's, this is like a different ga baneto. than that ga, I would argue. Okay, let's see here. It's This ga is followed by pocketo kara from out of the pocket. Nu no ni. Kuruma. Kurumareta. Chisana Ishio Toridashta Noda. So Good no job at spotting that you can start at Kuru and you had to keep on going. Good job for that. Kuru Marita. Oh, it's Kuru, ma Kuru Marita. Hi. <laughs> you didn't know? <laughs> it's not Kuruma, as in like a car. Yeah, that it's is not, a really good guess. The then we have the Rita right here. <laughs> Kuru Marita. Is that it's a particle? Kuru Marita. <laughs> Yep. As so in, we say um, arera, areta makes passive form. So a deru. So what would this be? What would be the What is the dictionary form of kurumareta? We say that kurumareta was was the wrapping of a thing. The yeah. the being wrapped of a thing. The In state context, of being wrapped up. We do have a I, passive form, so it would mean the state of being wrapped up because it's passive. Um, but what if we took it out of passive form and put it into dictionary form? Here, that would be kuruma. Kurumu, kurumu. You're right, kurumu. Good job. Yep, because the a de dictionary is form. So you take out the a and the de do. Yep, kurumu. The other guess, I guess, yeah, that'd be the only thing it could be. <laughs> kurumu. Grammar. Money. Can I run a thought? Hi. Can I run a thought through you? Real quick? Cool, cool. Um, that it's like not like a knife piercing through. <laughs> I mean, oh. A thought. <laughs> I, um, I mean to say, um, is it fair to categorize passive tense conceptually as state of being? Like, would that be a a good way to think about it? Sure. It's a state of being verb. Every time you use the passive, you are saying I am this. Or if 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 I'm talking about the object, is the object point of view. I am dot dot dot. I am being that hot. sounds I am very being close. Wrapped. However, um if you remember Aru, Te Aru, um, I would say Te Aru is actually what you're looking for there. Because um passive form by default insinuates a doer. 
um, right here, kurumaru in itself, oh. kuru, kurumu, um, kurumaru, kurumu, is a passive verb in that um, it means to be wrapped up. It does, in in itself does not have an active, the active version would be tsutsumu. If that makes any sense. So this is more an exception to the rule than an actual way of doing things. So if this was like kaku, for example, which means to write. If you said um ka ka de do, that would insinuate a doer, and you would use um kaite aru to do the version you're talking about there. Um, however, kurumu is normally like I curl up in a ball or something like that. So since we already have a passive kind of verb to some extent, it kind of takes that away. So it is to wrap up, but it's normally to wrap oneself up. Kudu, like right here, to be wrap up in a blanket, Hi. for example. That's normally how kudumu, oh. kudumaru, yeah, is used. So how about this, con how about this conceptually? In Sorry, English... I was wrong. If it's kudumaru, not uh, <laughs> kudumu, <laughs> but, <laughs> Sorry, um, I knew it was they're very similar, right? Uh, same, oh, same kanji, oh, same reading. Um, but kurumu is a different meaning. It's kurumaru, uh, which is what I'm saying is to cover kurumaru. oneself, to wrap oneself, which is now in passive form. So I knew what it was, but I had the wrong reading because they look so similar. Um, kurumaru. Kurumaru. Oh, it's 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 because it's a ru it's it's a ru verb. We drop the ru and we add reru. Gosh, we got to mix up so because confusing. we thought that this is a verb, but it's not. It's uh, a root verb. But my, my, wait, no, money back. So back I would I would write and wrong it again. So I'm like really messing you up. So this is passive form right here from kudumu and not potential form from kudumaru. But I was defining this as kudumaru, which is to wrap oneself up, and not kudumu, which is to wrap up to tuck in. Um. So basically, the doer here is Wait, probably so is insinuated as nebody or Burnett. I'm sorry. It is kudumu. <laughs> I had it messed up it in my kudumu. brain, but we did it. We did, we did conjugate it correctly. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's that's clear. Oh, but, but Mani, please, let, let yeah. me take some more time with this because it, it messed with my brain for a long time. Yeah. Okay. So coming from the world of English, we only had the concept of a doer. Right, the subject um, is the doer. We we incorrect, but in, in, that's in, a gram in, grammar. So if we say, I'm gonna get purple. Um, the door was closed by Sam, mm. and then we have I. Sorry, Sam closed the door. In English, it doesn't matter. And this is very common for a lot of our transitive things. We just add by in order to give us a doer, but you don't need a doer in most of these, right? I was chased versus I was chased by the cat. The only difference is adding a by versus in Japanese, the by is insinuated by passive form and it can be dropped, but it's insinuated in there. And te aru would be not having the by, right? It's like I wake up versus I wake up Sam. The, the the two versions it's only it's a difference between the where words are put in the sentence and not a difference in conjugation because english uses our I see here. um sentence formation to make these kind of changes while japanese uses their conjugation because they their sentence order doesn't matter at all as long as the verb is at the bottom of whatever it is you're doing that's the only thing that has a location it has to be in is the the verb is like the head of all of their sentences. That's why um, they're, if they were doing X tree, right? If you get to that in linguistics, the first thing that would probably branch off would be the verb versus in English, the first thing that branches off is probably the subject, whatever the head of it is. That's why they're reversed because of that. Um, where the most important thing is our subject in English, the most important thing in Japanese is their verb so we can move things around in lots of places because of that um yeah okay so yeah it's good to it, Money, so it, it, it insinuates it, a doer which in this context is probably Bennett 
had the idea, he's making a hypothesis that Bennett had earlier wrapped up the stone um, versus just saying it was wrapped up. It was probably, it was wrapped up probably by Bennett and now he's unwrapping it probably soon or perhaps well, nobody. Well, if, so he cares he, about who did it to some extent. If he don't care about who did it, he would end the passive with te I do. ita. I do. He doesn't care. Te aru. Te aru. Right. He doesn't care who so did if it. he didn't care no. at all, no. he don't if care he... at all who wrapped this up, it'd be kurunde aru. Or atta in this case, because it's past tense. Kurunde atta chisanama um, seki. Ishi. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Kurunde uh, atta chisana seki would be how you would say that. Um, in general, in Japanese, tends to have to do more like someone did the action. Because, like here, he probably didn't buy this wrapped up, right? He instead he either got it from nobody who wrapped it up, or maybe Bennett yeah. wrapped it up before he put it in his pocket. So it, it'd be more natural to insinuate a doer than to not. Which in English, in this context, it, we wouldn't insinuate a doer at all. Because why would we? Um, it takes extra effort in English to insinuate a doer. And in Japanese, it takes extra effort to insinuate a no doer. Hi. Okay. That's, that's clears up a bit more. Thank you so much. So this rock that was wrapped, the small rock that was wrapped up in a cloth from out of the pocket. From out of his pocket. He tori dasu, right? He um, got a relative clause. Tori, he took them out. Right. No da is in unda. It is. He's explaining now. He's explaining the previous ga. This no yeah. da is explaining the ga. Yep. The reason why it, there was no nukari, which is the ga. Um, Yes. So where did he take out the magical stone that was wrapped up in the cloth? Where did he take it out from? Oh, uh, no. Oh. He took it out from the pocket, but where did he take it out as a location? Tori. The sentence tori, starts with mon no tokoro de benetto ga pocketto kara nuno ni kuruma Ah. Hi. He did this whole thing at a at a location. Mon no tokoro de. But here he didn't say mon no de. He said mon no tokoro de. Right. This tokoro either is marking time or marking place or marking yeah, both. Time and but place. Here it's mon de would be place. grammatically incorrect. You could say mon no mae. That'd be correct. Why do you think we can't say monde? It, he's not saying that he's using the, the gate for, for an well, action. The he's not gate is a gate location, but Bennett is not on the gate. Right? He didn't like go through the gate. Like he doesn't have a magical ability to face through objects, right? He's not standing on top of the gate either he didn't climb on top of it <laughs> so de would be at that very specific location you mark so toshokande means in the library you're physically inside of the library when you say toshokande um you're not outside of the library mm. you're not on you could be on top of the library it, it doesn't really it's just the location of libraries where you're at so he's not actually in the gate location he's where the gate is Right, he's at the tokoro, the location in which the gate exists, but he's not in the gate itself. So that's why you can't do mon de, because that would insinuate he's inside the gate. Oh, <laughs> that, that's what I'm pointing but out. He could, he could have said, he could have said mon ni then mon he, ni at um, the location of the gate. That would that so yes, um, in a way, but that would insinuate he's in the gate as well. The ni. And de as a location marker insinuates inside of a location, with ni normally being more of a destination location, like the area in which the verb ends at once you hit there, um, such as like existing, you exist there at that very specific moment, and then the next moment happens. Tends to be when ni is used 
um, at the location. But the idea is that you're at that exact location, you'd still say, you wouldn't say mon ni, we mean at the gate. You would say mon no tokoro ni, mon no mai ni, mon no ushiro ni, something like that. You'd have to modify mon unless he's phasing through the gate because he has magic powers. I see. Unless he really wants to say that he is actually in the gate itself. Yes. Which could then happen, you right? Not you you, you probably seem like a cat or, or a dog happen. stick their head through the gate. That then that would kind of count. You'd say there. He's stuck in the gate, then you could use that knee <laughs> or death. Probably knee in that I, case, since it's a momentary okay. action. So yeah, that that's mm -hmm. that's why that's doing that. So the Tokoro is just letting us know he's not literally inside the gate. He's next to the gate. He's in the area in which the gate exists in that general place. Right. It also does include the time, of course. Um but yeah, and, that, that's why. And we know that he's talking about the location. We know that he's talking about location here because if he wanted to say time, he would have say mon no toki. Yeah. <laughs> wa, at the time when I was the gate. Right? If if he was to talk about like time as in the focus, he would have used toki instead. Yes, Tokoro but, focuses on the action right, with a time time insinuation. Yep. And Toki focuses on the time. So yeah, perfect. Um, theoretically, Hi. just so, so you know, you wouldn't put gate. Toki here so aggressively like that. Like you could like Tisai Toki. <laughs> Cause uh how you're modifying the Toki gate time. So weird thing to say. You would have to do some kind of verb here to use Toki. So, mon ni toki. Like, toki. Mon no at the gate. <laughs> You'd have to do a little applause right there with toki. Just because of what the word means. When gate. When gate what? What do you mean? <laughs> Versus tokoro around, right? Around the gate. At the gate location and time. <laughs> but yeah, perfect. Um, that was a good thing to point out for me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Vinich, when he arrived at the, when he was at the gate, he did all the stuff we already read. So next sentence. Hi. Vinetto wa machutsu shi janai no de. Here he's stating a fact. De is a this is a is a uh, te form of the da, and da is a is a statement of fact. He's making a statement that Bennett is not a magician. Hi. Now he's gonna continue this statement of fact with a consequence, which is konoseki wa madoseki janai. So you're making a conclusion now. Or not a conclusion, but a, a hypothesis that this rock is not a magical stone. From out of the the statement that he's he he stated previously, right? He's very very I, confident. I'm, I'm in trying this. to. So the fact it's a hypothesis is I, insinuated by context. Um, if you were just reading this without a context, you would assume this is a statement of fact almost. Nobody is not a magician. I, that means. I mean, I guess it is a hypothesis too. And this hypothesis sounds more like hazard or something like that. Got kind of a more vagueness word, but this is like a very aggressive hypothesis, <laughs> right? He's not a magician, so he that is not a magical stone. So it is to some extent a hypothesis. So you're right, but it's not like having the word hazard or that all in here. So it's it's very it's an aggressive hypothesis. Nice. Hi. Dewa nai. Well, um, dewa turns into ja. That's just the slurring of it. Hi. Um, that's why you hear when you learn, you got learn um dewa arimasen, right? Uh, Hi. Sen. That's and, ja and here this ja. When we break it down into its de and wa form, we see that there's two particle acting here. De, marking the the. Form of da. The 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 the, 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 the with this, and then right. he's marked with the wa. He's emphasizing that with this, it is not in existence. Yes. Exactly. 
はい。Um, haben, here it is, haben is an adverb describing、yep. the verb, perhaps.、Yep. And it's like the dadol has a perhaps actual hypothesis vocab word. Hi. <laughs> haben, ma do seki yori. Wa. He's doing it again. He's saying yori and then he s a y wa. So he's saying, he's emphasizing that more than a regular, more than a magical stone.、Right. At this point, he's saying something is more than a magical stone. And he's saying, iriyoku, a,、um, iriyoku is like the, the effectiveness of something, right, Mani? The, 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 the power. Power of something.、Um, no. Now he's modifying. No. To otoru. Is this otoru modifying is a verb now? That means... Is this the same no I, I'm, I'm, as mon no tokuro? No. no. Yes. This、Correct. is the god no, you may say. Correct.、Like, okay. Is the relative form here. It's saying that the key, the kagi sen yo. No. Seki. Ishi. Da. I just, I said, I did again, the main thing that, earlier. <laughs> It's Ishi, right? Because we got a no. Ishi. Ishi. He s a y daro. He's saying he's, he's still making a statement, but this, this, is, this is a statement that is、um, he uncertain about his statement.、Hai. So he's saying daro instead of da. And he's saying that this stone is of the category. I think of no as a category marker now.、Sure. He's saying stone is of the species, is of the, is of the species that is used, that has a special use. So the stone of special use, toru.、Mm, you forgot kagi. Senyo is of、the、special key, use. The key, the key that is of special use. Stone.、Um, Otoru is the、um, verb that means、uh, to. Oto. To be interior. Inferior. To, to be inferior to is an inferior thing. So it is a special use key that is inferior. Bonnie, I still want to keep no consistent in my mind. Like, I do think that the category no is definition no. <laughs> is the worst thing I've ever heard no define. It, um, <laughs> like, it's such a weird a idea to have. It's, it's, it's like saying, you're saying claws of the category cat. <laughs> you don't say cat claws? Claws of the category cat. It's such a wait, weird wait, wait. way of doing it. <laughs> Claws of a cat. Cat wait, wait, claws but... make s so much more sense. <laughs> wait, Monty, here, here he says <laughs> that this. Wait, 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 let's break it down. Here,、Hi. let's say we start at key. Okay, he says Kagi. This Kagi is modified by Otoru. It's less. It's less effective. This Kagi is less effective and it is of. Less effective power of a power,、yeah. of, like what? Like, if you ask a question, what kind of less effective, right? You say less effective, but what kind of less effective? He's saying of the kind of power, less effective in the category of power. The issue of you storing this in the same location is that you might begin to think that um, yuroku no um, otoru is grammatically correct. This in itself is grammatically incorrect, and you cannot make this. The no particle the, cannot go in front of verbs. It does not touch verbs. Verbs have cooties. That's the easiest way to tell whether or not something is a different thing,、It、has to do with how it interacts grammatically with other things in a sentence. 
Um, and there's a lot of similes in languages. So you kind of just have to assume it's a simile and not the same thing because it doesn't interact the same way other things interact in a sentence. Just like kara, for example, there's two karas and you can tell which is which based off of how it interacts with things grammatically in a sentence. If kara goes after a sentence, it is a different thing than kara that goes after a noun, right? So if things do not Money, the have different grammatical rules, it makes more sense to have it in a different section, I believe. Just like how we know yori is not a noun because there's no no over here. Well, ho from the whole ga is a noun because there, there we add the but I like, no to it. I like to interject in, in, this, in this interpretation because in my mind, to otoru, I'm not, we, I'm not looking at the otoru here. This otoru is not by itself. Oh, so, oh I get what you're talking about. You're saying the iroku is modifying the kagi senyo. Um, kagi, that would be incorrect as well, because actually kagi senyo no ishi no iroku. The iroku is actually at the end of the statement. The no theoretically should be marking no hoga. Um, but it's it's specifically that the magic power is inferior. Um, so it, the the sentence would end with iroku. Right, it would be um, iryoku no hoga, um, iryoku no hoga, um, otoru. Right, the thing that goes over here is the seki, the ishi, ishi no iryoku no hoga. Similarly to how it's um, mado seki, mado seki. No iryoku yori. This is what the original sentence was. And this wow, iryoku, no. this no iryoku was no. dropped because we already have it stated over here. So they decided, eh, we don't need that. Similarly, how they're like, eh, we don't need the no hole because this will be dropped, this no hole right here will normally be dropped because it's insinuated by the yori already. So that's what happened. The so, so um, my, uh, <laughs> so I'm sorry. It's yeah. <laughs> that that one right there also doesn't work. Uh, because this this is a descriptor of that, not it's not the other way around. The magic power of the stone is weaker than the magic power of the magical stone, right? Oh. But Molly, the reason I'm so I'm so like nit gritty about these particles is for me the particles are like the the axiom mm -hmm. of the entire structure, you know. Absolutely. And for me, the axiom is so important. important that it can't change. Like it cannot. 90% of the time means one thing and then 10% of the time means something else. I mean, I can accept that for nouns and verbs and all the other things within a paragraph, within a sentence. But as far as the particles go, it has to be consistent because they are the linchpins of meaning. Like they the, keep the whole the thing together. The issue is probably that no is not in itself officially categorized as a particle, I don't think. Uh, I normally teach it as one because that's what it is, but it's not actually a particle, right? For example, in English, if I say um, Sam's cat, that is a different thing than there are cats. We both have a plural. We do have an S here that's being added to the thing, but this S is a possessor S and the other S is a pluralizer S. In itself, no is not officially categorized as a um particle it is categories at the same category as sam's the possessor the of word that goes over to mark a noun describing another noun but not is actually a grammatical function like the word um be right to be or something like that which in english our grammatical thing remember is word structure the order we put in our words that's why no you know, like when it's between right over here, you can't actually move this around. This just attaches this to the next item. All the other particles allow for free movement, but you can't move this no around, right? 
Similarly, how the other no over here is pronoun no, which is also not a glue going on. Um, so there, there's probably, I would say, two no's. Maybe this no could be pronoun no, maybe. And the pronoun it's blocking is ga, which seems odd to have ga inside of a pronoun um, or something like that. But uh, I'm just saying grammatically, we do have the same exception in English, right? Because no is not officially a pronoun. I mean, not officially a particle, unlike wa, ga, o, e, and to. Um, to is probably also not officially a particle. I think, it had, I think it's like called a conjunction marker, like that in English, not an example of a conjunction marker. Yeah. A conjunction marker, yes, I agree. It's totally a conjunction marker. It linked things up here. Irioku, no, oru. It links up these two concepts. Okay, I, I, I don't want to belittle this point, but <laughs> thank you, Mani. I think I. Something to I look up more in the linguistics dictionary. Um, but yeah, as far, as far as I know, they are categorized as different things, but it doesn't grammatically work the same as the other stuff. But I, I still thoroughly convinced that I feel very uncomfortable interpreting that as a god for 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 some reason in my mind. Like if 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 I see if I see no, it should be no. Like I shouldn't have to like in the back of my mind rewrite it in my mind as a god. Like I feel like that's that's I mean that's what it is grammatically. <laughs> That's just Some, what it something is. Something weird is going on. Um, but it feels it's, like it's there for readability I, things. The meaning is the same. I I have a linguistic why don't textbook just put, that tells me that. Why not just put the ga? I well, feel, then it's confusing because we have what is the that, we have the wa here. That, that's probably well, that's why. That's exactly the, the point. The but point because is because things are yeah. It's is the subject of the relative clause, iroku no otoru. This is a relative clause. The subject of the relative clause is iroku. The subject of the relative clause the subject... is not um, madoseki, nor is it the kagi, the kagi senyo no ishi. The subject of itoru, to be inferior, is the magic power. That's why the magic power of the magical guiding stone is not as pathetic as the magical power of the lock use stone. The, the, the subject of the relative clause is magic power. The subject <laughs> of the relative clause is magic power. Iryoku ga otoru kagi. I otoru kagi. Uh, what? <laughs> this is this is the oh, subject. Confused. Wait, 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 wait. Let me. Iryoku ga otoru kagi. He's he's saying he's. I uh, if if we were to say that shouldn't kagi be the subject? We are talking no. about the key now. Kagi. So. The subject of the relative clause otoru is iuryoku. A relative clause head is not the subject of the relative clause. Um, a relative clause can hike any noun inside of it. Any noun inside of a relative clause can head a relative clause. If I say um, toshokan de, ah, toshokan de, samu wa, Jinmu. Sorry, uh, I'll do uh, kon o uh, naifu naifu de horoshita. Here is a obnoxiously long sentence. I could take any of the nouns here and make this into the head of the sentence. I could turn this to san wa kono koroshita naifu de koroshita toshokan, which would be the, the library that Sam killed Khan with a knife in. That's what it would turn into. Similarly, I could take this whole thing 
take out the Sam, who's the subject, and put him over here, which would then turn into Sam, who killed Khan with a knife in the library. Or I could go over, take this whole thing, take it out. And the reason why you know what one thing means has to do with what is missing from the relative plots. In the library, this is Khan, who was killed by Sam with a knife in the library. Um, all of these are grammatically correct. Um, well, these probably should be ga rather than wa, because it's less aggressive once we go over here. But this right here is a knife that was used to kill Khan, uh, that Sam used to kill Khan in the library. So all of these are correct. You wouldn't see this specific sentence because normally you wouldn't have a location with the item and stuff like that. It's normally would be insinuated by context or something. But these are all hey, I'm, grammatically correct. I'm still not convinced. The reason I'm but still not convinced These are all grammatically correct? <laughs> well, no, in this example, in this example, Ga, Mark, the subject of the action, the doer, and we know yes. that it's Sam who's doing this. Right? Yes. But in the text we are reading, it say iryoku. Yeah, iryoku, iryoku is not some. Iryoku is in in I... inferior. The magic power is inferior. But, he... it... but Monik, wait here, wait, wait, listen to me. Iryoku here is is a descriptor of. Um... Oh, oh, Toru, like less what? What it's is it that is less? Oh, less. But here, here, Sam is the one that doing something. It says Sam Ga. He you're, you're thinking about Sam's this very Englishly. That that's my statement to you. You're doing this very Englishly. You're thinking that we have to have a aggressive doer in a sentence by default which is not true um for sentences do not need to have an aggressive doer that is not something ever needed in a sentence um uh a se i could find something real fast do, 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 do you understand my money wait wait Iryoku, in my mind, is not some agent. It's not somebody who's doing something, right? You it's think just a, Otoru it's a is a doing verb? It, How do you do Otoru? It's a verb. If if it's a verb, then it has to be a doing thing. That doesn't make any Otherwise, sense. Otherwise, it's not a How verb. Does, what does Aosuru Aou, mean then? Like, to do blue? Is that is that an action? Grammatically, yes, because we put suru on it. If yeah. it's suru, then it's doing. We're doing the color blue. Yeah, exactly. Grammatically speaking, yes. The, exactly. The verb. Uh, but. <sighs> oh, I would man. like for you to read this like, sentence from the book. Okay, okina kagi hana no kagi ana ga. Okay, so now we say in the whole. The whole is the subject here. Uh, iu ni aru ue gotsu ue ni aru gotsu gotsu shita shin. Shinju no doa no Buddha. Doa no Buddha. So we have two verbs here. We have oh, doorknob. Yes, doorknob. We have go to go to sit it. Um, which Hi. uh means That's to be to. It's... A, it's a description. Um, Hi. it and has we to have... be a noun. It can't be any because she thought come after it, right, Moni? Yes, gotsu gotsu was a noun, but what does gotsu gotsu, gotsu, gotsu mean? Uh, can we look it up real quick? Yeah, it's it's like a raggeded. I was like, what is the right word? It's a raggeded. So the the noun state of raggeded, 
yep. like it's is the same do, thing as the one to, we read to be raggeded see right here that's such you're not doing something you're being raggeded how about um this sentence what does that mean uh the key is arguing the, yes. the, the the hana is arguing keyhole yeah. The is it is existing arguing exists above so both of these right here are non-actiony verbs we have to be rugged and to exist above what is the sentence saying in english the sentence say that a large keyhole exists above the raggedy doorknob exactly do you see what we did here with the sentence the head of the sentence, the head of the clause, is the doorknob. This official subject of this, the official subject of the sentence is doorknob, the brass doorknob. And we're described with two relative clauses. One of them is that there is a keyhole above it. And the other one is that it is rugged. But the head of both these relative right. clauses is shincho. The thing with shincho, this right here is the subject head. This was the ga from Gotsu gotsu, it'd be shincho no doorknobu ga gotsu gotsu shita. The other one, though, is um, the ue. That's where this is coming from, right? So if this was one sentence, it would be shin uh, doorknobu no Wait. ue ni. Shincho no doorknobu so no ue ni aru. Why would gotsu gotsu be ga? Like, why would it be ga? Well, of course it's ga. It's, it's ragged. It's raggeded, yeah. It'd be doa nobu ga gotu gotu shita, right? The doorknob is raggeded. That's right. how you the use. You use yeah, ga the there. Money, the ga here marked, ga marked the doorknob, yes. not the state of being raggeded. Why would the ga mark the state of being raggeded? The doorknob the is doing is raggedness. Exactly. We are we are using this sentence as an analogy to the other one which we are reading. So if you type yes. the other sentence here on the screen, if you can help me, it's iryoku no otoru. No, the main point here is the oki no kagiana no ga ue ni agaru. That's the main thing that we're using here as the comparison. Oki na. I'm trying to kagiana. Ga ue ni aru. The thing that's missing here so, is do nabu. Where does this do nabu go in this rel the, what was it originally? It's at the head, right? Do a. Nobu. So this right here is our relative clause head, right? Where does this go in the sentence? Oki na kageyana ga ue ni aru. Where was this originally in the sentence? Originally in the sentence, the the doorknob, the doorknob is um. Wait, I don't understand the question, Moni. Please help me. So this is uh, a relative in, in clauses. The... A relative clause is used to be a normal sentence. It used to be a normal sentence, and we took one noun out of the sentence and brought it over to the front of the sentence. Doorknob should exist. Should exist with an okina kagiana ga ue ni aru. It should exist in there. It should be able to have a spot it can sit in and be grammatically correct. It could do you think it goes over here? Doa nobu? Does it go door nobu? Uh, no, okina kagiana. Is that where it goes? No, it doesn't go there. That's not where it goes. Does it go up over here? Okina doorknob no kagiana ga. The large um, doorknob has doorknob's keyhole is above. No, it doesn't go there. The location it goes is it attaches to ue, which means above ue. Do you think it's ue no doa nobu? Or is it doa nobu no ue? 
Which do you think is correct? Ue no doanabu? Doanabu no ue. But, honey, if this was the case, then it should be shita. What are you talking about? The doorknob about? is below. Oh, I oh ue. Is it? So it's you're right. It, it's say correct. here that the keyhole is on top. Yes. So right here. Why above ue. the doorknob? Doorknob no ue. Hi. The, the location is, above is... of the doorknob is where the kagiana Hi. exists. I... And you can see here that ue Hi. is our head here. Ue ni. You're taking that iryoku. Iryoku. And you were putting it over here. Um, e you were doing a, um, that doesn't make any sense in the sentence, which was, um, so ma joke. Sorry, ma. It was, it was ear joke. Oh, let's, 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 no ishi. That, that. Ishi. You said, irishu no ishi no ho ga tsuyoi. You said the, no ho ga. This is what you thought was made sense. The stone of might is stronger. What I thought would make more sense grammatically would be the opposite. Ishi no iryoku no hou ga chioi. This right here sounds grammatical to me. The power of the magical stone is stronger. Not the magical stone of power is stronger. This doesn't make very much sense to me. I don't understand the what is, they're trying to define for me. The thing is, money, the, any noun in the wait, sentence wait, can wait, be wait. taken. And you have to think what makes but sense. At, but at no point does iryoku ga dot 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 we are not saying we're not marking irioku as as the subject here we always we mark we something marked it else with no as... no it's the subject it can't it's it's oh yeah no it's the subject can't that's be... how it works it literally that's what it works that's what it is i li it's literally if says it... that in the linguistic textbook it's the replacement of ga it literally it doesn't make any sense otherwise. I guess you could argue it's like replacing the whole and God just was dropped, but it still doesn't really make grammatical sense. Not really. Um, but my point here was Money. just showing that the head can go anywhere inside the sentence. You can take whatever any noun you want and move it over here and you just put it in where it makes sense, logically. Um, which for this sentence, this makes sense. This, the first one on top does not make sense. And that's what you were trying to do. You were taking the iroku no, the, the stone of might rather than the might of the stone is stronger. The The sentence is saying that the, the power of the stone is what is inferior to the other stone. That the magical stone has more might than the lock stone. Um, that's the point of the sentence, the thing they're trying to illustrate. Um, as far as showing ga turning into no, that would not be an easy thing to Google here. But I'm going to stop the recording and grab my linguistic textbook. Okay. At least it's on a easy to get.